Hello, uh, this is Shiv Shankar Dhyal and uh, I welcome you to my next video on arrays. In this uh, part we will uh, learn about generating prime numbers. So here we have a max is equal to 100,000 and I declare an array and then I fill that array with the values starting from 0 to 99,000. Okay, now let me uncomment this. Now in the meantime, what is a prime number? A prime number is something which is divisible by 1 and by that number. Only two numbers can divide that number. So suppose uh, we want to generate all prime numbers from 0 to 99,000. The first two prime numbers are 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 are printed here. And then starting from uh, say 4 we start and then we go till we reach max and then uh, <coughs> we start from 2 and we divide unless we are less than that number and if the remainder is true here the division is done if the remainder is 2 0 then we make a flag true and at the end of this loop you see over here if flag is still false initially it starts with false if the flag is still false then the number is a prime number because flag never became true but uh, <coughs> if the flag uh, becomes true then it is not a prime number so after that we make flag false so the complexity of this algorithm is uh, very high say <coughs> this is up to n and say i will become n sometime right so it's quite high worst case is order n square for this probably more than that not plain o n square for calculation of i if for testing i for primality rather it will be order n square so uh, now we compile this and this is 4 ok now you see it will take a while to run this generating so many prime numbers Okay, it is generating, generating, generating. All right, we are we are done. So you see, it takes somewhat around ten seconds to generate because of its bad complexity. Now, suppose we have a number n, right? Then its square root is uh, say some value m. Now from 0 to m there will be m prime factors of uh, uh, m numbers, right? So m minus 1 whole square will always result you in somewhat around uh, n. For example, let me put it this way. Suppose we have number 10, right? So square root of 10 is like how much? Um, 3, right? So if we go till 3 that is we start from 2 and go till 3 then we find that uh, 2 is one of uh, the prime factors of uh, 10 right the reason lies in the fact that square root n whole square is equal to n so it is guaranteed that when you iterate from 0 to uh, square root of n you will find one of the factors so in this uh, second part, we will not iterate till j less than i, but we iterate till j less than sqrti. So there is a slight bit of, uh, not slight, there is a lots of improvement in its complexity. And you will see that this code will run much faster than the previous one. Let's do this. So it's the same and see how fast it generated it took less than a second so that's what happens to complexity when you deal with the generation of prime numbers hang on a second
Now, as we see, this technique is quite good, square root of n, but still it is not good enough for very large prime numbers. So, in my next video, I'll tell you one of uh, famous sieving techniques, sieve of Eratosthenes, uh, it's very difficult to pronounce for me. So, I'll tell you one of the famous sieving techniques and we'll see how actually we do that. And that generates even bigger prime numbers very fast. Till then, enjoy the programming and thanks for watching the video.